back with Erin Young of One STL, and we've been talking about sustainability in St. Louis and a project that you're spearing up um, under the East West Gateway Council of Governments. Um, who would know? There's all these people working on <laughs> uh, sustainability throughout our broad region of St. Louis. Um, so we were talking just now before we went to break about what sustainability means and exact some examples of that and We were talking about stormwater solutions that kind of thing, but what are some other examples? Well, the the stormwater solutions are an, an easy project to show because it's something that's in the ground and tangible. Can, it's very tangible mm -hmm. and it, it, it's showable and, mm -hmm. and, and transferable. It's really easy to build. Um, but there's a lot of other aspects about sustainability that are less tangible. Um, we did a, a telephone survey in 2011 across the whole St. Louis region and we asked all of the residents ab about what uh, sustainability means to them. Mm -hmm. And it, it means something different to everybody. Mm -hmm. But the, the most common answer we received was they don't know. Uh, people just don't know what sustainability is when somebody else is talking about it. Yeah, I, I would un agree with that. It is sort of an ambiguous term and our kids are learning about it in school more and more, but it's seen as almost an earth um, related it, it started out m mainly with protecting the environment mm -hmm. and, and using our natural resources in, a, in, a, in an efficient way. Um, but a, as it evolved, um, people who, who liked it understood that not everybody is receiving the benefits of doing sustainability in an equal manner. So um, sustainability also grew into making sure that everyone has access to these benefits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So are there, as you're exploring how to make use of these federal funds in the St. Louis area, what are some areas that you're gonna be touching on? Um, well, the, the, the federal funds are only available through the, the grant funding period, which is this year. Um, as we progress into, into 2014, we hope to be identifying new sources of, of funding, both from federal sources, state sources, and private sources. So if a, a city or organization uh, in the region wants to build something like we show, showed in those previous pictures, we can have a, a, a grant source that they can apply to actually get something built. Mm -hmm. So the grant money will come from your organization, East West Gateway? It won't come from our organization. Mm -hmm. um, we, can, we can be a, 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 I don't know how to like describe it. A clearing house maybe? A clearing yeah, house, yeah. It'll be mostly a, a, a clearing house for, for information. Mm -hmm. So if we find out about a source for a grant, we'll post it on, a, on our website and people can uh, use us as a reference and, and apply, they'll have to apply for the yeah. grants themselves. So mostly your, um, when you say people, we're talking about municipalities, um, organizations, businesses, schools. Mo this project is um, mostly concentrating on municipalities because mm -hmm. um, East West Gateway is the Council of Governments. We represent um, all of the, the municipalities in the region, but uh, sustainability can't stop there. It, it's got to be people who want things done. A, a city's not going to do something if, there's, if their residents don't want to do it. Right, right. So we will have mostly information for cities, but we have to, um, we have to guide or we, we have to put information on our website that's relevant mm -hmm. to, to average people so they'll understand that these projects are beneficial and to ask their, their local um, elected leaders that tell them that they want these kind of projects in yeah. their city. So looking at, at our monitor right now, um, what, are, what is this that we're looking this at? Is, uh, this is an artist rendering of a typical downtown like Main Street that mm -hmm. shows um, just a, a line of single story businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and this is uh, the same location with a, an artist rendering of a lot of different sustainable practices okay. that are, have been incorporated. Um, there's street trees to shade the sidewalk. There's the, the rain gardens underneath the trees. There's uh, street lights operated by solar panels. Um, there's a green wall on the building closest to us, and there's also a, a, an electric car charging station there. Interesting. But there, there's a, a lot of different things that could happen um, without really changing the way mm. our neighborhoods function, but it could change the way they look. Yeah, and it's much more inviting, that second picture that we saw yeah. there. All right, so real quick before we have to take another break, how can people be, get involved in your project? You have a meeting coming up, a public we meeting? Have, we are in the middle of um, a, a round of open houses, and we are holding them across the region. Okay. Um, but the next one in the city of St. Louis is uh, September 25th at the Central Library downtown. Okay, so open house format? Yes, open house format. Uh, it's from 5 until 7.30, so mm -hmm. people could come at any time during 
doing that. Okay. And they can see our plan and our website and talk to us if they have any questions. Okay, perfect. Um, so a great way to get involved. And thank you so much, Erin, for coming and, and giving us just a little bit of a clue as to what you guys are working on that will help us all. So next up on SDL TV Live, find out how art education is helping underprivileged kids to get out of poverty. Halima Martin will be here to fill us in after the break.